We're taking a look at Hishan De Silva, who is the CEO of De Silva Group of Companies. His accolades and achievements are quite a mouthful. Now, get this, at the age of 25, De Silva has made it to Forbes Top 30 Under 30 African Entrepreneurs and Top 10 African Entrepreneurs to follow. Last year, he also made it to the list of the Top 10 African influencers. But what is even more inspiring is that at just the age of 25, he is worth over a billion Kenya shillings. So what was his big break? KTN's Joy Dorian Bira spoke to Hishan De Silva. Right. Um, De Silva, thank you for joining us on the Job Center. Tell us exactly what your story is up from back then up until today. A uh, kid who grew up in a, in a very lucky family. Yeah, we didn't have a lot, but we worked, my parents worked very hard to give us extremely good education and, and access to facilities that, that most people wouldn't have. And I threw those, you know, those opportunities away. Dropped out of university, drug, alcohol, and, and suicide it was the combination that led to me dropping out with straight Fs. And I came back to Kenya and, and did get clean. After a while, I'm seven years and four months clean now uh, but but yeah it was a lot of difficulty you know I mean trying to find a job that pays you 12,000 shillings a month and being rejected by these I was rejected 15 times from the jobs that I did apply to and 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 that just created a need that that rose in me that I need to uh, be the master of my own destiny and I need to create any opportunities that come my way because nothing's going to fall onto my lap right so what kind of services does your company offer at the moment uh, we finance the bottom of the pyramid people who, who make two dollars or less per day you know, the business needs to directly impact those people as well I'm not talking about just random employment but actually add value to people's lives as soon as you're able to add value to the masses you find that you're you're sitting on gold and that's what we're trying to do great um tell me about your big break uh, well the biggest break the one that has clip, uh, eclipsed everything was meeting my partner in Masai Mara uh, we got out of dinner one day and there was this couple sitting around a campfire and then we went up to them and started speaking my mother actually was like you have to talk to them because they looked bored all camoed out typical tourist looking uh, went up and started talking and he's 32 years old and, and his he was working at a hedge fund that was at 18 billion dollars and, and and he was a managing partner over then he was just starting up his own one as well mm -hmm. and and we looked at the poverty that was in Kenya and the work that we were already doing here on the ground and he was like how do we scale this up in a big way not five six seven deals a year but a lot of deals to, to impact a large number of people how much money will you need and how long will it take for us to get this going mm -hmm. you brought another hedge fund on board and that was the big break right so what kind of services does your company offer at the moment uh, we finance the bottom of the pyramid people who, who make two dollars or less per day you know, the business needs to directly impact those people as well I'm not talking about just random employment but actually add value to people's lives as soon as you're able to add value to the masses you find that you're you're sitting on gold and that's what we're trying to do great um what is your word of inspiration to everybody who is watching who would like to draw inspiration from you from all walks of life people mm -hmm. who have failed i'm sure uh could be key knowing <laughs> that uh, your background was quite amazing i would say um what would you say to them as, as a way of inspiring them to get back on track? Uh, never accept an excuse, never give an excuse. So work very, very hard. Whatever you think is the box that you're thinking outside of, smash that box because someone else's box might be bigger and you're still thinking inside their one. Always uh, think as, as crazy as possible, but work towards it with the means and, and the uh, facilities that you have access to right now. If you're just going to sit around and say that I need capital to do this and nothing is ever going to happen until I get this capital, you're going to just be sitting around forever. And this world owes you nothing. You need to find a way to make it work for yourself. Final question. Does age have anything to do with it? Absolutely nothing. I think when you're very young, you have the best years in, uh, with you because you have no obligations. I don't have a family to run home to. I don't have children to run home to. And this means that I have a lot more time to dedicate towards work. That being said, even if you do have a family, that's no reason why you cannot dedicate all the time that you need to mm -hmm. towards your business. But, but I believe if you're only going to put in five, six, seven hours a day, you're not going to get anywhere. 
you need to really work every single day hard and smarter what you're doing so that you can grow great well thank you so much thank I you appreciate the time <laughs>